This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone from Central Oregon, living and homesteading. Today is our weekend, which is probably not the same time you're seeing this video. And I am going to answer a couple of questions and, that I had in the comments. But today is a day of just uh, um, observing what we've done today. Sherry's had quite a project going on over here. Um, I've been showing it here and there. Um, as I'm always doing my stuff. She's got her stuff she does. And some people say, why, why aren't you working together? And we do, but we have uh, passions for different things. And so she's been working on this area here, which uh, is just coming out so nice. Um, <clears throat> this really got run down, and Sherry's got this all cleaned up here. And believe me, this is no easy thing. <clears throat> and then this, she's cleaned up. And it just looks beautiful. So now she's like, well, why don't we put some broccoli in here and see if we can get some last minute fall yummies. It's like, well, why not? <clears throat> so we might put a little broccoli in here. We love broccoli. <clears throat> it's kind of funny. We got these uh, old benches that <laughs> literally rotted away. And so we got to haul them out of here. But <clears throat> And the wood isn't exactly gone. It was actually the metal. So I think it's like casting stuff, but um, kind of funny how they don't, <laughs> that's a park bench that didn't last very long. Her last part is going to be this part, and she'll cut all these trees up and then clean out the inside, and pretty soon this thing will be gorgeous. And now she's going to give us the urge to build something in here, and it should be pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see how that comes out. And, uh, She's trying to uh, use a little mini rototiller we found in the garage, and I uh, don't know which, where she's at on that, but um, I'm going to go check on her. And uh, now we're kind of waiting for a rototiller over here where the garden's going to be, and uh, then the, really the work begins because then we need to... Uh, put additives in the ground, get it all churned up. I did order a 30 by 30 tarp to cover the whole garden during the winter. And uh, we'll be able to rock and roll when uh, spring comes. Now this part of the house here at the end is what we call the green room or the garden room. And uh, it can be, we can have it set up to do our starters if we don't get a greenhouse built. So yeah. That's what's going on here today. Let me go see, catch up with Sherry and see what she's doing. Oh, uh, I tried, oh, this is not a good sign. Oh, uh, it wasn't a good sign when it picked it up. Why? Because this was apart. Because what? It was torn apart. Oh. I put it back together. Oh, that's not good. No. It's, it's got some, it's, it's got some issues. It's got, <laughs> Hey, I couldn't get it turned to even do that. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, I, this may be fried. Yeah, I'd say... Uh, I'd be worried about you using it. Oh, it smells wonderful out here. Burning wires. So, uh, this was sitting in the garage. And we've been kind of contemplating using it. It was torn apart. It was torn apart, huh? So I put it back together. And she put it back together. She's getting to be such a... I don't know, homesteader. Um, gosh, she won't need me around much longer. So, uh, we're going to do a special video after this one about our anniversary coming up. But this is, every time our anniversary comes up, it's like, what do you want to do? I don't know. And of course, we're way out here now in a place where, in Phoenix, there'd be tons of things like nice dinners to go to and stuff here. Uh, the, the big thing around here is, Nothing. <laughs> there's no casinos. There's no fine dining. Well, there's in the bend, but um, so this is what we do. And so this has happened to us time and time again when we had a, a anniversaries coming up. And this is the 40 one. It's like woohoo. And um, 
I think we treated ourselves to a special thing. We bought a rototiller. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! And so, but those are the things that actually makes us remember our anniversaries better because we've had hard times, real hard times, and when we celebrated like our 30th, we were, we were broke. We had nothing. Nothing. And we had to do something really interesting to even go to dinner. And yet that's the one we remember the most. So uh, it's not all about the, the glamour guys. It's more about the things you kind of create together. So uh, we're going to do a sit down and talk about what it's like to be <laughs> with somebody over 40 years. And it is more than 40 years. But uh, uh, so I got to see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that don't look good. That's pretty fried. My recommendation, the dump. <laughs> but we'll give it one more little try. But well, what are you trying to do? Get the screw out so I can save the screw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got tons of screws here. So anyway, that little bugger does not smell good. And don't consider that very safe for the house. So yeah. But we find little treasures like this in here all the time, don't we? Yeah, it's just what works and what doesn't. Yeah, that's the problem is we don't know what's good and what's bad. So you can see we have lots of, so many doodads in here that we don't know something. His fa her father just never threw anything away. And I think he, a lot of times he's like, oh, I can fix it or I'll do something with it. And a lot of times he could fix it. And a lot of times he could, yeah. So but every once in a while... <laughs> but we can't. <laughs> we just buy another one. But uh, I guess that's a generational thing, huh? So uh, it looks like I also need to uh, get the pool filled up. Um, you know, we found the mouse in it the other day and I cleaned it. I haven't filled it up. And uh, the chocolate lab is the one that misses the pool the most. So, well, anyway, let's move on to other subjects. All right, guys, I'm back in the garage. It's kind of dark in here. But uh, I'm answering some questions we got in our comments. Let's see if I can get back here. People ask me, how do we rotate our water? So it's hard to see in here. But we had 23 cases of water, which was really a pain when we moved um, to uh, from Arizona. We stored up on a lot of water. Well, <laughs> so things are different. We use this water, and especially since we're doing a lot of work here and stuff like that, we uh, are using the water we have, so nothing's going to waste. But now, as we told you and you've seen in our videos, we have our own well house. So we invested in a generator, and now we can uh, get our own water. So now the investment is in fuel. So the answer to the first question that we had in our comments is, do we rotate our water? Yes. And... Uh, we're going to reduce our level, level of water because now we can create our own. But we always have a little backup. Um, we just like water bottles when we're working in the yard. But the thing is, is because of that, now we need to have a better stock of fuel. So, yes, we have fuel, and yes, we have to rotate it. So what we've been doing is, I'll show you, it's kind of dark is uh, we're starting to buy a lot more fuel cans of five gallons and we're going to put a numbering system on here and keep rotating this fuel because we have to mow our lawns at least every week or so and we burn how much fuel do you think you burn up in this thing every week two and a half gallons two and a half gallons so about let's say three gallons so we ro we will rotate our fuel and keep uh, fresh fuel all the time. And, and the other thing I need to do is go out and find the additive for winter time so our, our fuel stays in good, stable, yeah. So, uh, Sherry and I have just been talking that she's really working the flower beds. And so there's a few tools here that we don't have. So it looks like another Home Depot run's coming up. Um, we do have a new rototiller coming that can do cultivating 
but it's too big for what she's doing. And with the new garden going in over there and her cleaning these beds out, and we have so many, it'll take a long time. Um, it's only fair that she gets the right kind of tools for both of us to do do these jobs to reduce trying to get some of this overgrown grass out and stuff by hand is a back killer that's just all it is i don't care what age you are <laughs> so anyway uh i think we're going to pick up some new toys today and then uh i once again all this is going to go into the new garden over here and we're just going to and i'm not going to even weed it because we're going to put tarp over the whole thing so we'll just integrate it into the ground because there's a lot of really good dirt in these potting um, flower pots and we may as well put it back back to use and all this dead stuff um, we're just going to integrate into the soil because we're going to cover it up for the winter so there that's my story and I'm sticking to it I think I've actually babbled a lot in this video so I'm going to kind of cut it off here. I don't try not to make our videos too long. So I want to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, join our family, uh, share our videos all over the whole wide world, and we'd love to hear your comments. Um, please be uh, respectful and pro professional. We appreciate it, and we will too. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Until next time, bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.